All right, here we go. Buckle up and get ready to embark on a thrilling journey back in time. We're setting the DeLorean to circa 570 BC, a time before TikTok, Netflix, and yes, even before sliced bread was a thing. We're going to ancient Greece to meet our main man, Pythagoras. This Giza was not your average Joe. Nope. He was a mathematician, a philosopher, and basically a rock star of his time. Born on the island of Samos, he did what any self-respecting philosopher of his day would do, travel. He went to Egypt, where he probably got a hefty sunburn while studying the priests there. Then, he decided to hop on over to Babylon because, why not? Eventually, Pythagoras made his way to Croton in Italy, where he started his own club, the Pythagorean Brotherhood. Now, this wasn't a club where folks spent their time sipping ancient cocktails. It was more like a group for serious thinkers. They dedicated their time to studying numbers, geometry, and ways of living ethically. Pythagoras and his crew spent their time mulling over numbers and shapes. And that's how they stumbled upon the Pythagorean theorem. You know that one? The same one that haunts high school students in their dreams? That's a squared plus b squared equals c squared? Yup, that one. Essentially, this theorem enables you to calculate the length of one side of a right-angled triangle if you know the lengths of the other two. As for his philosophies, Pythagoras believed that everything could be explained by numbers. The stock market? Numbers. The number of times you hit the snooze button in the morning? Numbers. The secret to the universe? Well, you guessed it. Numbers. Pythagoras and his gang were also pretty keen on the idea of reincarnation or transmigration of souls. They believed that souls were eternal and went through a cycle of death and rebirth. Well, it's funny, but a lot of the stuff Pythagoras got jazzed about still plays a big role today. The Pythagorean theorem is a cornerstone of geometry and it is used in a ton of practical applications. Need to find the shortest distance between two points? The theorem's got your back. It's used in navigation, architecture, computer graphics, and much more. In today's video, we are going to explore some of his philosophies, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Welcome to BlackRock Inspired. As long as man continues to be the ruthless destroyer of lower living beings, he will never know health or peace. For as long as men massacre animals, they will kill each other. Indeed, he who sows the seed of murder and pain cannot reap joy and love. If there be light, then there is darkness. If cold, heat. If height, depth. If solid, fluid. If hard, soft. If rough, smooth. If calm, tempest. If prosperity, adversity, if life, death. No one is free who has not obtained the empire of himself. No man is free who cannot command himself. Do not say a little in many words, but a great deal in few. There is geometry in the humming of the strings. There is music in the spacing of the spheres. In anger, we should refrain both from speech and action. Souls never die, but always on, quitting one abode pass to another. All things change, nothing perishes. The soul passes hither and thither, occupying now this body, now that. As a wax is stamped with certain figures, then melted, then stamped anew with others, yet it is always the same wax. So, the soul being always the same, yet wears at different times, different forms. The oldest, shortest words, yes and no, are those which require the most thought. Above all things, respect yourself. Let no one persuade you by word or deed to do or say whatever is not best for you. 
Most men and women, by birth or nature, lack the means to advance in wealth or power, but all have the ability to advance in knowledge. It is only necessary to make war with five things, with the maladies of the body, the ignorances of the mind, with the passions of the body, with the seditions of the city, and the discords of families. Choose always the way that seems the best. However rough it may be, custom will soon render it easy and agreeable. As soon as laws are unnecessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. We ought so to behave to one another as to avoid making enemies of our friends and at the same time to make friends of our enemies. You should make great things, not promising great things. Practice justice in word and deed and do not get in the habit of acting thoughtlessly about anything. Thank you.